What's up everyone and welcome to your 10th C++ tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make arrays. Now what an array is, is pretty much a variable that can hold a bunch of different values in it. Now it's a little different than a variable in how you write it and um, how you store the information but it's actually quite simple to make and very very useful. So let's go ahead and uh, as you can see we just have all our basics, our two includes and our main function right here. And the first thing we want to do is create the array. And we need three things to create the array. The first thing we need to write is what kind of type it is. And I'm going to make just a basic array using numbers so I'm going to use the int type. And the second one is you have to name your array just like you do a variable and I'm gonna name mine ages because we're gonna be talking about ages right now now I know this looks a lot like a basic variable right now but the third thing that we have to do is in square brackets not your curly ones your square ones you have to write how many elements are gonna be in your array and I'm gonna have three elements so write the number three right after the name of your array now right after this we begin making the elements of our array now make sure that you have three and three only and I'm gonna start making the first one and it's really simple to do all you have to do is write the name of your array which is ages and as you can see my first element does not begin with a one it begins with a zero because in C++ when you're counting everything starts with zero zero one two three four so we're actually gonna go zero one two and those are gonna be the three elements I know it's real confusing but that's the way C++ made it so so I'm gonna put the age of the first person is 21 because I'm 21 and then in your semicolon and now put ages and the second one has the one in the uh, square brackets and I'm gonna put um, 19 because I know a guy who's 19 and in my third one which is actually gonna be 2 I'm gonna put 9 because my sister is 9 so now these work just like any old variables in the sense that you can perform math functions to them or anything else but how do you actually write the variable and that's even simpler than making it all you have to do is write it like it's a basic variable but instead of just writing the name you write which element of the array it is so such as one in this variable right here right here ages 1 is going to have the value 19 so if you do ages 1 plus ages uh, 0 and we save this it's going to put 19 plus 21 so let's save this compile and run hopefully I don't have any errors anywhere forgot any semicolons or anything good I don't now as you see it goes 40 and that's exactly what we wanted and as you can see 19 which has this value and 0 adds up to 40 and that's how you can store multiple values in the same variable if you will which is actually called an array and this is uh, very useful when you're trying to build a database or something like that when you have a bunch of like variables but you just want to change one little thing about them like a, you have a bunch of ages or a bunch of names or anything like that and this is going to come into use a lot later so study this it's uh, one of the most useful and basic things that you'll be seeing a lot of later and uh, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos thanks for watching